Well, I think one of the issues for social media that we have to be careful about is that because, take Twitter for example, in 140 characters you have to express a view or a thought or a simulated rage and therefore there is a very little place for serious argument, for discussion, for reflection, but people are encouraged to respond. Uh, I favor it something, I don't favor it, not quite like that, um, but the implications are clear. What it does for identity is to persuade people to make exaggerated claims in order to win the favor of a group of people that they value. And because those that are coming from university are about to enter the workplace, this is the one thing to watch most carefully, that the integrity in tweeting or on your Facebook page or airbrushing out the um, bad spots that you might have is really important so that if you are going to use these amazing uh, advantages of the digital age, you do so with honesty, with integrity, uh, and being able to restrain immediate responses uh, of rage or of approval when actually reflection, which has obviously from university students have been learnt at university, will suddenly cease in the demands of the workplace, the harshness of travel uh, and the, just the exhaustion of a, of, of a regimented life. Well, there's a great saying, isn't there, that uh, we've always used, uh, and this is in the print media, is never say something uh, or do something that you wouldn't be happy to have published on the front page of the Times newspaper or if you're in the city of the Financial Times. And it's always been a good guide that, you know, public viewing of an action that you take is important. So I would say be cautious because everything that you put, even though you may think that Snapchat will disappear, soon er, there will be search engines that will find the things that have disappeared after 15 seconds. And it's not wise to be posting all the pictures of drunken student evenings uh, and then regret them later. This is not to suggest that we should all become prudish but I think a little element of caution uh, when you post something and a little less hyperbole and a greater degree of honesty will set the, the, you know, it will have a very good trail so that what you want is not the odd picture, nobody's going to mind the odd picture, but what an employer will look at is what, what, is the, what is the image of the prospective employee showing to me when I look at it over a range of the postings that have been put on Facebook, for example.